This is Cameron Chai from Azo Nano, bringing you another episode of azonano.com TV. And today I'm speaking to Chris Orzulak from Bruker, and he's going to give us a bit of a demonstration and a rundown of the Contour GT optical profiler. Thanks, Cameron. So this is uh, our Contour GT K1 optical profiler. It's a white light interferometric um, optical profiling system. I'm going to point over here to some of the things. So the actual interference is generated in the objectives. So the, the objectives here are what do the, make the interference pattern. So there's a beam splitter and a reference surface in there. The light bounce goes down to the, where the sample would sit. And then it comes back up and is captured by our camera. So I'm going to take it over here to the software and we'll, we'll actually make a measurement now. So this is a real simple thing that we're going to measure. So this is what the, the live video looks like. So to operate this system, what we would do is focus using our focus knob until we see fringes on the surface. So there's our interference fringes. And then what we're going to do is we're going to scan through focus. So real simple, there's a couple different type of measurements. This measurement is of, of about an eight micron size step. And I'm going to use what we call vertical scanning interferometry. So vertical scanning interferometry is for large surfaces. Um, 150 nanometers and higher, all the way up to 10 millimeters we can measure. And this has an, a, la a vertical resolution of about 3 nanometers. And then we'll talk about some other techniques to get us down to the angstrom level measurements. But all I'm going to do is select VSI measurement, I'll select which objective, and hit measurement. So now you'll see the fringes scan through the top surface and bottom surface. And quickly look here, here's our, our step and here's a 2D cross section. And we can get our step height profile, then we can do other things in here like look at the you look at this in 3D and rotate it around and look at the surface. And let me make this a little nicer. The legend, some axes. So there's our measurement. So it takes a few seconds to get a very nice looking image here, but also really good data, quality data out of it in a very quick measurement. Um, so we talked about this. This is vertical scanning interferometry. We also do phase shifting interferometry and also the Acuity XR, which gives us better lateral resolution. So just to show some of these images that I've collected before, this is a 350 nanometer grating. So this typically, you know, your, your optical, your, the, wave, the, wave of your op, the wavelength of light limits your, your lateral resolution of, a, um, of an optical system. So this is measured with the traditional method, but what we do with the acuity is we use uh, hardware and uh, combine with software and do repetitive measurements. And then what we could do is get a measurement that looks like this on something that you know, the height here is two nanometers and these are 350 nanometer wide lines which before and as you can see this is what without the acuity xr and this is with the acuity xr we get much better lateral resolution but it also gives us much better lateral lateral gauge performance so we can get much more repeatable data out of this system right and chris how does it go with uh square grooves as opposed to rounder grooves is, is that any issue to the system nope so one of the things i actually Good thing you brought that up. So there, here is a, um, here's some round holes. So these holes are 500 nanometers wide, about 120 nanometers deep. And then here it is with the, with the regular measurement, and then here it is with the acuity again. So you could see the, look at that. We could really see the shape. If you look here on the cross-section profile, you could really see the shape of these. And if we go back and look at something like, you know, with, done with the, with the standard phase shifting interferometry, you'd see it's chunky and pixelated. And here we see it's very smooth and looks, gives us a real nice representation of what these pits look like. Fantastic. All right, so if anybody wants any more information about the Contour GT, they can go and find that on your website, presumably? Yes, at Bruker.com. All right, Chris, thanks very much for that demonstration. Thank you.